Anything that the media pushes that isn't blatant fear mongering about everything. Corona, climate change, voting rights, systemic racism, democracy, based on, in many cases, just straight up lies. They well know that fear is the only way that they can push their ideological religion on a country that would normally send them to the dustbin of history, where communism belongs. Unfortunately for the rest of us, way too many people still trust what they hear from these people. And what I have for you today is another glaring example of why they deserve none of it. Remember Al Gore? Remember the decades worth of wild predictions that Al Gore popularized? But did any of what he predicted ever happen? No, but on CBS News, they decided to rewrite history to fit their panic propaganda. Al Gore has been sounding the climate alarm for more than four decades. First as a young congressman. The Arctic is experiencing faster melting. And then 15 years ago with his planetary PowerPoint in the film An Inconvenient Truth. It earned him an Oscar, a Nobel Peace Prize, and plenty of scorn from climate change deniers. It's always a good sign that your position is the right one when you broadly and generally smear anybody who disagrees with you. It's very clear why they came up with the phrase climate change deniers because it vaguely sounds like the term Holocaust deniers. So they can associate anybody who stands in opposition to them as an inhuman monster. Disagree with their widespread voter suppression claims? You're an inhuman monster. Think you can make your own decisions about about what to put in your body and your kids' bodies? You're an inhuman monster. Disagree with the extent at which humans are changing the environment and their solutions to that problem? You're an inhuman monster. Disagree with Joe Biden and say, let's go, Brandon? You're an inhuman monster. And I mean it, you can literally do this with every freaking issue. I personally have never heard of anybody who denies that the Earth's climate changes and is even currently changing. We just disagree with a few of the details, like to what degree humans are actually changing the climate and are we considering all factors involved? And lastly, An Inconvenient Truth was widely discredited by scientists and people like this high court judge who oversaw a case about whether this propaganda should be shown in schools. I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, let me tell you about this special coin offer for my viewers. Now, something's not adding up, is it? Stocks are at record highs, but the government just borrowed $5 trillion. Inflation is transitory, but it just went up to 6.8%. How much did your wages go up? Gas? Electricity? A precious metals IRA with noble gold gold will help you to avoid the worst of this. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualified plan you start. Start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Just make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Some people called you a kook for, you know, being too far left on the environmental stuff. You see, there's nothing kooky or wrong about being too far to the left. In a kind of unfortunate way, do you feel like what you have been saying all along has been validated? Well, I, I certainly wish I had been wrong. Literally every single thing that comes out of this man's mouth is bullshit. Like doomsday cults of the past who decoded the Bible to find the date for the end of the world, Al Gore and those like him keep predicting doomsday that never comes. But that's okay because Al Gore has a corrupt state media machine to just lie about it and claim he got everything right. Part of the point, what I've been saying is really just channeling what the scientific community has been saying. That's funny because the response that I always get from leftists in regards to the fact that Al Gore's predictions have always been wrong is that he's just a politician, not a scientist, and the scientists weren't making these predictions. But Al Gore just said he was channeling the scientists, apparently in the same way a high priest channels God. Do you now feel like you've succeeded in getting the message across? No, I have not succeeded yet. The crisis is still getting worse faster than we're deploying the solutions. There is a remaining question about whether we will solve it in time. He's still optimistic, mainly because of young people all over the world now demanding change. A lot of those young people seem pretty fed up with politicians. Yeah, blah, 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 as Greta says. Exactly. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm with her. We're sick and tired of it, and we're going to make the change. All right, that's enough of those two liars. Now it's time to do a little fact-checking on these misinformation spreaders. In 2006, Gore claimed in his book that snow would disappear from Mount Kilimanjaro. Wrong! Another prediction from 2006, Gore says warming of the oceans will lead to more intense Atlantic hurricanes. Wrong! Atlantic hurricanes have actually been decreasing in frequency and intensity. In his film, An Inconvenient Truth, Truth, Gore claims, quote, global warming is shutting down the ocean conveyor, i.e. the process by which the Gulf Stream is carried over to the North 
Atlantic to Western Europe. Wrong! According to a high court judge who oversaw a case involving the showing of this propaganda in school, quote, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, it was, quote, very unlikely that the conveyor would shut down in the future. Gore also claimed that the coral reefs are bleaching due to an increase in CO2. Wrong! But despite CO2 levels continuing to increase, reefs are actually improving. In the film, Gore also predicted that polar bears would go extinct due to melting ice caps. Wrong! So, this, the sequence that Al Gore used in his film of drowning polar bears and trying to use that as a scare tactic about what would happen with climate change, um, he was really trying to um, dramatize a, an incident and much was made in the scientific literature about those bears but it turned out on further investigation that there were a lot of sort of dodgy things going on in terms of that report and it's really not clear that in fact the things that were seen were actually drowned bears or how many bears were actually seen. Another prediction from his movie, Antarctica and Greenland would melt. Which of course was right. Oh wait, what am I talking about? It was wrong. None of that is happening. Any sea level rising that is occurring is minuscule and it would literally take centuries to get anywhere near 20 feet. In 2008, Gore predicted the entire North polarized cap will disappear in five years. Wrong. In 2011, Gore was at it again, making his recalculated Bible code predictions, claiming Florida would be covered in water due to sea level changes. Wrong. It's 20 years later and um, Yep, Florida's still there. In a kind of unfortunate way, do you feel like what you have been saying all along has been validated? Well, I, I certainly wish I had been wrong. Okay, I think I've about eviscerated that dead horse, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. But one quick thing. If you're considering getting an Oculus VR headset in the near future, consider using my referral link and we can both get $30 to use in the Oculus store. Really, you should consider it. These things are awesome. I'll go ahead and put that link in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and then leave me a comment to let me know what you think.